When you when it's Easter Wednesday, so we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Today's gospel is one of the neatest ones. It's about Emmaus. And we were in the seminary. One of our teachers said, don't think of Emmaus as one particular place, but rather think of Emmaus in the broad sense of the word. So as we begin for a moment, let's think about those times in life when we encounter people and hopefully make a positive difference in their lives and those people to make a positive difference in ours. For the times we were filled with fear and doubt, we ask God's forgiveness, and so we pray, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. We glorify God as we pray. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sin of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. You alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O oh God, who gladden us year by year with the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection, grant that by celebrating these present festivities, we may merit them through to reach eternal joy through Christ our Lord. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter and John were going up to the temple area for the three o'clock hour of prayer. And a man crippled from birth was carried and placed at the gate of the temple called the beautiful gate every day to beg alms from the people who entered the temple when he saw peter and john about to go into the temple he asked for alms but peter looked intently at him as did john and said look at us he paid attention to them expecting to receive something from them peter said i have neither silver nor gold but of what I do have, I give you. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Nazarene, rise and walk. Then Peter took him by the right hand and raised him up, and immediately his feet and ankles grew strong. He leaped up, stood, and walked around, and went into the temple with him, walking and jumping and praising God. When all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as one who used to sit begging at the beautiful gate of the temple. And they were filled with amazement and astonishment at what had happened to him. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. God. The responsorial song. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Rejoice, Rejoice O hearts that, hearts that seek the Lord. Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, invoke his name. Make known among the nations his deeds. Sing to him, sing his praise. Proclaim all his wondrous deeds. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Glory in his name. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. Look to the Lord in his strength. Seek to serve him constantly. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. You descendants of Abraham, his servants, sons of Jacob, his chosen ones, he, the Lord, is our God. Throughout the earth his judgments prevail. Rejoice, O hearts that seek the Lord. He remembers forever his covenant which he made binding for a thousand generations, which he entered into with Abraham by his oath to Isaac. Rejoice for the hearts that seek the Lord. Friends, may the Lord be with you. And with you, sir. Let us be attentive to this reading of the Holy Gospel according to Luke. That very day, the first day of the week, two of the disciples were going to a village seven miles from Jerusalem called Emmaus, and they were conversing about all the things that had occurred. As it happened while they were conversing and debating, Jesus himself drew near and walked with them, but their eyes were prevented from recognizing him. He asked them, what are you discussing as you walk along? They stopped, and looking downcast, one of them named Cleophas said to him and replied, are you the only visitor in Jerusalem? Who does not know the things that have taken place in these days? And he replied to them, well, what sort of things? They said to him, the things that happened to Jesus the Nazarene, who was a prophet mighty in word and deed, before God and all the people, 
how our chief priests and rulers both handed him over to a sentence of death and crucified him. But we were hoping that he would be the one to redeem Israel. And beside all this, it is now the third day since this took place. Some women from our group, however, have astounded us. They were at the tomb early in the morning, but did not find his body. They came back and reported what they, they had indeed seen a vision of angels who announced that he was alive. Then some of those went with us to the tomb and found things just as the women had described, but him they did not see. And he said to them, Oh, how foolish you are! How slow of heart to believe all that the prophets spoke! Was it not necessary that the Christ should suffer these things and enter into his glory? Then beginning with the Moses and all the prophets, he interpreted to them what referred to him in all the scriptures. As they approached the village to which they were going, he gave the impression that he were going on farther. But they urged him, Stay with us, for it is nearly evening and the day is almost over. So he went in to stay with them. And it happened that while he was with them at table, he took bread, said the blessing, broke it, and gave it to them. With that, their eyes were opened, and they recognized him, but he vanished from their sight. Then they said to each other, Were not our hearts burning within us while he spoke to us on the way, and opened the scriptures to us? So they at once set out and returned to Jerusalem, where they found gathered together the eleven, and those with them who were saying, The Lord has been raised and has appeared to Simon. Then the true encounter would have taken place on the way, and how he was made known to them in the breaking of the bread. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You know, in the seminary, when you go home for the summer, sometimes you do different kind of jobs. You, you hope to be able to, like, maybe work in your home parish. One of my classmates came back with this really um, incredible story. I think it was incredible anyway. He got home for the summer, and he worked in, this is back in the 70s, and he wasn't able, the pastor of his parish, his mom had been very sick, so he had been in another state, and he stayed there for quite a while. He had told the seminary that he'd be able to work in the parish, but the pastor was gone, and so he really couldn't do that, but he needed to make some money, so he worked in a corner store, store in a market. And he described to us this one particular day, he said if he had been working there for about oh, six weeks and he, the pastor was back home and he told him that next week he could start to work in the parish. Well, he was all excited because now he'd be doing things he was learning to do and he was hoping to be a priest and he'd be finally doing something that was uh, it kind of he'd be loved to do. So he was working in the market, ready to close up. He had cleaned um, the slicer for the cold cuts and um, just the store about to close, this little lady comes in and she asks him for sl three slices of Polish pressed ham. He had just cleaned the slicer. If he did it for her, he'd have to do it all over again. And she said, would you please give me three pieces of Polish pressed ham? He thought about it for a second and said, this is what I should do. So he cut the three pieces up and he wrapped them up nicely. And as he handed them to the lady, he said, how you doing? And she began to unburden her troubles with him. And the store was close to close at like nine o'clock. Well, it was still about 20 after nine and she was continuing to tell him all the burdens she carried. Well, she said, well, it's about time to go. So she gave him the money, he rang up the register, gave her her change and she looked at him and said, Thank you. You really helped me lighten my burdens. And she left. So he went and he cleaned the slicer again. And he kind of realized that, you know what? What he did there for that woman, that's really what life is all about. It's not a particular occupation you have. It's kind of what you do with it. So, you know, sometimes the road to Emmaus if it's not a particular place, it's any time you brightens up someone's day, any time you take the time to listen to someone who just wants to share a story, maybe even a joke, if it's mine, it's a bad joke, but nonetheless, maybe just wants to talk about the difficulties in their lives. Then if that's what happens and you listen, you found a maze. So again, Emmaus isn't one particular road 
it's not one particular place. It's many places. God bless. For the opportunities we have to make a positive difference in the lives of others, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those people that have asked us to pray for them, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are sick and are preparing to meet God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, we ask you to hear our prayer and to bless our lives through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For your goodness, we have this bread to give you, which earth is given and human hands have made and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be Blessed be you, Lord, God of all creation, through your goodness, we this wine to give you food of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God Friends, let's pray that our gifts will be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of God's holy church. Receive the sacrifice that has redeemed the human race and be pleased to accomplish it, salvation of mind and body through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Father, He is the true Lamb who take away the sins of the world. By dying, He destroyed our death, and by rising, He restored our life. So once again, we join our loved ones in heaven as we pray this hymn of an ending praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. O Son, in the highest. Blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. O Son, you are indeed holy, O Lord, and the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Joseph, our Bishop. Remember Teresa and Joe Pravada and Anne Washo, Washo, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection for all those who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that, together with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, Joseph, her husband, the Apostles, the Martyrs, and all the Saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, may we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let us pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy we may be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await with joyful hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours now forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you my peace, I give you. Look not on our sin, but on the faith of the church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who will live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of our Lord be with each one of you. And with your spirit. 
is offered to one another a sign of God's love. Lamb of God, you take, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world, blessed all those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. We pray, O Lord, the reception of the sacrament of your Son may cleanse us from our old ways and transform us into a new creation through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May God's blessing truly guide this journey, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go now in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks. Have a good day, everyone.